Over the years, Netflix has increased their number of movie offerings, now with more than 350 original films in their library. To separate out the good from the bad, in this top 10, we'll count down the best original movies on Netflix that you can watch right now. To qualify, the film must have premiered on the service since our video last year. And as always, these will be our personal favorites based on entertainment value alone, regardless of any political or social agendas. Let's get started. Starting off our countdown, coming in at number 10 is Army of Thieves. This heist comedy film, based on a story written by Zack Snyder, is a prequel to his other film, Army of the Dead, which is also on Netflix. Army of Thieves follows a small town bank teller who gets recruited by a mysterious woman to lead a group of Interpol's most wanted criminals to assist in a heist of impossible to crack safes across Europe. While not being groundbreaking, this film is a clear step up when compared to the lackluster Army of the Dead. It's fast-paced, fun to watch, with likable characters. In at number 9 is the western psychological drama, The Power of the Dog. Set in Montana in 1925, it stars Benedict Cumberbatch as a domineering but charismatic rancher who conducts a war of intimidation on his brother's new wife and her teenage son. It features fantastic cinematography and outstanding performances from Cumberbatch, along with co-stars Kristen Dunst and Jesse Plemons. While we did enjoy some of the film, we felt it wasn't deserving of all its accolades. The pacing at times is mind-numbingly slow, and the story completely falls apart with an unbelievably terrible ending, which felt like it was a near waste of two hours and eight minutes. Coming in at number eight is The Unforgivable. This drama film is based on the 2009 British miniseries Unforgiven, written by Sally Wainwright. It stars Sandra Bullock as Ruth Slater, who's released from prison after serving 20 years for the murder of a sheriff who came to evict her and her five-year-old sister. Upon re-entering society, she tries to put her life back together and searches for the little sister she was forced to leave behind. The Unforgivable is a slow burn with a satisfying ending and features one of the best performances of Bullock's career. In the number seven spot is the apocalyptic dark comedy, Don't Look Up. Written, produced, and directed by Adam McKay, it features an outstanding ensemble cast, including Leonardo DiCaprio, Meryl Streep, Jennifer Lawrence, Kate Blanchett, and many others. The story follows two astronomers attempting to warn humankind of an approaching comet that will destroy planet Earth. While the satirical humor does land its punches some of the time, some of you might be put off by the preachiness of it. Also considering it's one of the most watched films ever on Netflix, we felt somewhat underwhelmed. With this star-studded cast, Don't Look Up should have been better, and that's why it's only number seven on our list. The Fear Street Trilogy comes in at number six. This horror film series is a collection of three separate Fear Street movies released over the course of three consecutive weeks. Based on the book series by R.L. Stein, the Fear Street movies in order are called 1994, 1978, and 1666. While each film could be watched individually without seeing the others, the overall story revolves around teenagers who work to break the curse that has plagued their town for over 300 years. If you want a serious dose of nostalgia, and you're a fan of slasher films like Friday the 13th, Halloween, or the Scream series, the Fear Street Trilogy will be a fun and welcome addition to your watch list. Coming in at number 5 is the action comedy film Red Notice. Stars Dwayne The Rock Johnson as an FBI agent who grudgingly teams up with a notorious art thief played by Ryan Reynolds. Their goal is to hunt down and catch an even more renowned criminal played by Gal Gadot. This fast-paced action film doesn't take itself too seriously. It's actually quite silly, with funny dialogue throughout. This is one of those films that movie critics hated and viewers loved. Thankfully, the viewers won out. Red Notice became the most viewed film on release day for Netflix. In fact, it was so successful that two sequels are currently in development to be filmed back to back. In at number four is the computer animated science fiction comedy, The Mitchells vs. The Machines. This film is a rarity for Netflix. It's family friendly and surprisingly good for all ages. It's about a strange and dysfunctional family while on a road trip who are put into an impossible situation of having to save the Earth from a global robot uprising. It'll make you laugh and at times might make you cry. The voice acting is great. Some of the voice actors include Maya Rudolph, Danny McBride, Conan O'Brien, and Olivia Coleman is terrific as a ruthless and maniacal virtual assistant. The Mitchells vs. The Machines is so good, some might even say it's better than anything released by Pixar over the last few years. 
Before we get to our top three, let's change things up. Instead of doing the usual honorable mentions, we'll instead show you five Netflix movies hated by viewers and critics alike that you might want to avoid. Home Team stars Kevin James as New Orleans Saints head coach Sean Payton after being suspended by the NFL as he goes back to his hometown to coach his son's Pop Warner football team. It pains me to say this as a Saints fan, this film is horrible in every way imaginable. A Woman in the Window is about a woman who spies on her neighbors and witnesses a crime in their apartment. It has slow pacing, it's terribly written, and predictable. A complete waste of time. Texas Chainsaw Massacre is a reboot of the slasher franchise with the infamous killer Leatherface terrorizing young friends in a Texas town. This film should have never been made. To be blunt, it's stupid throughout and not entertaining at all. Thunder Force is a comedy film about two childhood friends that reunite as an unlikely crime-fighting superhero duo. It stars Melissa McCarthy and yet another comedy that's not funny, formulaic, with cringe-inducing writing and acting. Brazen stars Alyssa Milano as a mystery writer that uses her expertise to help solve her sister's murder. Horrendous acting, along with a terrible plot, make this one of the worst films to ever appear on Netflix. Back to the countdown. Coming in at number three is The Atom Project. Directed by Sean Levy, the science fiction adventure film stars Ryan Reynolds, Mark Ruffalo, and Jennifer Garner. Reynolds plays a time-traveling fighter pilot who accidentally crash lands in 2022. He teams up with his 12-year-old self on a mission to save his father, played by Ruffalo, and to save the world. Outside of the typical sci-fi cliches, this lighthearted film includes engrossing action scenes, exceptional visual effects, with humorous moments mixed throughout. The Atom Project's sole purpose is to entertain without pushing an agenda, and it does that very well. In the runner-up spot, coming in at number two, is Munich, The Edge of War. This historical drama thriller, not getting the attention it deserves, is based on a novel by Robert Harris. Set in 1938 in the run-up to World War II, it follows a young British political aide assigned the task of obtaining a confidential document exposing a Nazi secret from a former Oxford classmate who is now a German diplomat. Excellent performances and direction make the suspenseful spy thriller a must-watch for those interested in the events leading up to World War II. In the top spot, the Harder They Fall is the best film released on Netflix over the past couple of years. This American Western, directed by James Samuel, features characters loosely based on real lawmen, cowboys, and outlaws of the 19th century American West and has an outstanding cast. Some names you might recognize include Jonathan Majors, Idris Elba, Regina King, and Delroy Lindo. The story follows outlaw Nat Love and his gang gunning for revenge after his enemy Rufus Buck is released from prison. This unapologetically violent film features strong performances from the entire cast, great writing, and directing. The Harder They Fall is a wildly fun thrill ride from beginning to end. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you to find a new movie to watch, give it a thumbs up. What Netflix original film is your favorite? Let us know about it in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and ring that bell to stay up to date with our latest top 10s and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Gumbo.